Hello there. My name is Shraddha Jaiswal and I'm a verbal expert at EGMAT. Let us solve this difficult official question using the EGMAT's signature three-step meaning-based approach. But before that, just a quick reminder, please hit the like button below to let us know that you found this video helpful. That way, we at EGMAT can continue to create such videos to help you and others with the GMAT prep journey. So let's get started. We will solve this question by first understanding the meaning of this sentence and we do so by breaking the sentence into its smaller chunks. This way we can assimilate better the meaning presented by a complex uh, context heavy sentence. So let's start reading. Last week local shrimpers held a news conference. Pretty easy to understand some local shrimpers, they organized a news conference. The next part of the sentence says to take some credit for the resurgence of the rare Kemp's Ridley turtle. This part of the sentence presents the purpose of this news conference. The local shrimpers wanted to take some credit for the restoration of the rare Kemp's Ridley turtle. Reading further, saying that their compliance with laws requiring okay so in this news conference the local shrimpers said that they were complying with certain laws reading further that turtle excluder devices be on shrimp nets this part of the sentence defines the law what is this law all about this laws requires that there should be turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets Reading the last bit, protect adult sea turtles. So the shrimpers said that their compliance with these laws uh, protect adult or protects adult sea turtles. So now let's sum it up all together. This sentence talks about some local shrimpers who organized a news conference last week. Then the sentence presents the purpose of that news conference. In this news conference, the shrimpers said that they were complying to, a, to certain laws and their compliance was resulting in the protection of adult sea turtles. The sentence also describes what these laws are. So, Overall, the way this sentence is written, the meaning is absolutely clear. Now that we are 100% sure of the logical intended meaning of the sentence, we will move on to step two, which we call error analysis. In this step, we figure out the grammatical errors in the sentence. So in the underlined portion of the sentence, we see the usage of the verb protect. And what is the subject of this verb? The subject of this verb is singular compliance. Now we have the singular subject but the plural verb. So clearly the subject and the verb do not agree in number with each other. This is the most blatant error that we can find out in any SC problem. So this is the only grammatical error in this sentence. Now if you are wondering about the usage of the verb be, then the verb be in this sentence is actually a subjunctive verb that has been used because of the usage of the word requiring. The word require is a command word that demands the usage of the subjunctive verb. Although this word has not been used as a verb in this sentence, the very presence of the sentence brings in that tone of command and hence we see the usage of the subjunctive verb be in this sentence. So as we uh, discussed earlier, the subject verb number agreement error is the only error in choice A and hence it is an incorrect answer choice. So let's now move on to our third step which is answer choice analysis in which we will figure out which answer choice is the correct one. Well choice A definitely is incorrect as we have already discussed and found out the reason why. Choice B is the correct answer here. It says requiring turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets. Yes, we do see a slight structural change in this part of the sentence, but this part describes the law. What is this law all about? 
these laws require the presence of turtle, turtle excluder on shrimp nets and this is what choice B is saying as uh, as we saw in choice A. So even if with this structural change, the meaning remains the same and it is the logical meaning and hence there is no problem here. Also we see the usage of the singular verb is protecting which now matches the number of our singular subject compliance. So choice B is correct in all regards and hence is the correct answer choice. Let's analyze choice C now. It says that require turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets protect. Now that require turtle excluder devices is also correct because this modifier again is describing the laws. What are these laws? These laws require turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets. No problem at all. The problem with choice C is again the usage of the plural verb protect for the singular subject compliance. Hence, choice C is out. Choice D says two required turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets are protecting. Now, there are two errors in this sentence. The usage of the phrase to require is um, unidiomatic. Why it is unidiomatic? Because the purpose here is not to present the intent of the law. It is not the intent of the law to, uh, to add turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets. The law says that there should be um, uh, turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets. The, the intent of the law is to save turtles and that's why it says that it should have turtle excluder devices. So requiring the net uh, requiring the device on the net is not the intent. The intent is to save the turtles. So usage of to require is absolutely incorrect over here. So we definitely have idiom error in this sentence and once again we see the use of plural verb are protecting that has been used for our single su singular subject compliant and hence we have subject verb number agreement error over here. So choice D is out. Choice E repeats the same idiom error with the usage of to require that is incorrect rest everything is fine in this sentence. So choice E is also out. So as we found out earlier Choice B indeed is the correct answer. Now, apart from choice B, choice C is actually one of the most popular or actually it is the most popular incorrect answer choice. Um, people go with that require turtle excluder devices on shrimp nets, but they totally miss out on the fact that the verb protect is for the singular subject compliance and not really shrimp nets or turtle, uh, ex turtle excluder devices. So again, if, if we miss subject verb number agreement error, um, that error happens because we get too lost in the structure of the sentence. We really lose focus on the real subject and that's why this error happens. So make sure that you remain focused throughout um, on different entities in the sentence, especially the subject verb pairs. So I hope that um, now you are 100% confident why choice B is the correct answer. Um, if you like this video, please click on the right like button. Uh, please leave your comments. Um, what else do you want to see? Or if you have any questions regarding this question, we would be glad to answer the same. And do subscribe to our channel to stay updated with whatever we do here. Thank you and happy learning.